bless you, Brother Daddy. Praise the Lord. Good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Good to see everyone here this morning. And I hope that you're feeling the spirit like I am this morning. God is He's not just in this place. He's inside of here. Yeah. He said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. And he's in him. Brother Dale said this to me this morning. He said, do you realize that we're one? That if every one of us, if we come in here in one mind and one accord, that's the way God is wants us to be Amen. and more than one in him. Amen. Praise God. I've got wrote here where I'm going to preach from. I'm going to preach from the 14th chapter of John. God's spirit moved over and moved over the face of the deep. That, that's what the Bible says. Who else could make a statement like that. No one can reach out there to where God can reach. Nobody can reach down there where God can reach. Amen. No one can reach up there where God can reach. Amen. Only God can reach into the heart of man and save a man from his sins Amen. and promising eternal life and glory. Amen. Only God can do that. Amen. I'm so thankful that we serve that truth and live with God. You know what the problem is in this day and time? There's too many Jews in the world. They uh, want to be with Jesus, but they don't want to be a part of him. There, I believe there's so many that they sell out to their self. They don't sell out to God. And in the name of Jesus, they want to proclaim something, but not the true and living God. I was watching things they're listening to while I was getting ready for church this morning and they was asking for donations because today is the day of the Jews, I believe they said. Uh, anyway, they would take up donations for the whale and wall from the ceremony that was going on over there and promising people that if they would donate to this, God would work miracles for them. That's not my Yeah. What I'm going to preach to you this morning is Jesus. Amen. Not the way with law of Jerusalem. That is a thing of the past. It's God. I mean, you know that there's only one way that we can worship Him this morning? That is in spirit and in truth. Do you know what that way is this morning, Amen. Brother Dog? Jesus Christ, Amen. the Son of Amen. the true and the living God. If uh, It's so simple. If people could just get a hold of how to worship God and turn loose of all these man-made ideas. Amen. What a different world this would be that we live in. Amen. I believe that uh, we're living in a time when the people's hearts are really troubled. And uh, I believe that it's just as simple as it ever was this coronavirus I know it's uh, blown up to be a killer that's 
going through the land, and it is. But the God that I serve is the God that he would be. Amen. That's Amen. what the word of God says. It, he is the God that he would be. Amen. And if uh, we would get a hold of it, of the word of God, and get that planted down inside of us, we've got weapons to fight these spiritual battles that everyone fights, including this crown of ours. Um, uh, President Trump even calls it an invisible enemy. Yeah. Well, all these spirits that the Bible talks about that we have to overcome, they're invisible spirits that we fight one way, and that is with this power that God has given us. Yeah. And uh, he said, he said, when I leave, I am not going to leave you powerless. But he said, you'll be in power. You'll be endued with power from on high. Amen. And Amen. They, they went to the upper room and they tarried there. And they waited for this power, the power of the Holy Ghost to come into that place. It came in like the sound of a rushing mighty wind with cloven tongues of fire. And it's still in us Amen. today. Amen. I mean that it's not changed. <clears throat> it's not faded away. It's not got weaker. But I believe it's stronger today Amen. than it was even back in the book of Acts. You know, uh, something had happened to Peter from this time that I'm preaching to the time that him and John uh, walked by and they seen the lame man and he was begging for alms. They was going in the temple at the hour of prayer to yeah. do something. Amen. And that was because it was the hour of prayer. Amen. They was yielding to what God, what they knew that God wanted them to do. Amen. <clears throat> because of that, when they spoke to this lame man, and they said, Fight your eyes. Peter said, Fight your eyes upon me. He said, Look at me. He said, I've got something for you. Yeah. And the lame man thought he had some coins that he was going to put in his cup. But he didn't. He had the answer for what that lame man needed that yeah, day yeah, yeah. and had needed so many years before that. Amen. He had what they need or what he needed and it was faith in God. Amen. Amen. And when he spoke the word, the lame man was healed and he, he rose up leaping and praising God. And, and why can't people see that and today that it needs to it, uh, we need that in the church today. Amen. And we need to know oh, that yes. when we speak the word that Amen. there's going to be a miracle performed Amen. Uh, Amen. through God. I mean, yes. uh, it's no different now than it was. We're in the church age today. And we will be until Christ returns after the church. I want to preach you a message this morning that uh, it will be the answer to every problem in your life. Amen. I don't care how many problems uh, you've got, Sister Jeanette, anyone here, uh, I've got the answer this morning. Amen. And that answer is what God can do for you. Amen. And not what I can do, but uh, uh, what can be done through the Word of God if ye only believe this morning. Amen. I feel like shouting right now. I mean, I feel the Spirit of God in a great, in a mighty way in this place this morning. He's here for a reason. If you've got a need this morning, 
Uh, God is here uh, to answer Amen. that need. Oh, uh, I know that uh, uh, this is what I preach all the time, uh, that it's what there is to be uh, preached. Uh, and Jesus is the answer uh, for what uh, uh, this world needs today. And uh, Jesus is the answer. It says here in the first verse of the 14th chapter of John, oh, one of the greatest books that uh, is in the Bible, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Yes, amen. 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 God's Spirit moved across the deep. Oh, I want you to get a hold of what that means this morning. God's Spirit moved. And everything that happened from the time that this is talking about, God brought it up to this present minute, right now, that we're living in. God, the Almighty God, is sitting the on the, the highest throne that there is in the kingdom of heaven. He is the one that uh, we're gathered here to worship this morning. He is the one that called me to preach the gospel Amen. of Christ. Uh, he is the one that died on the cross of Calvary and shed his life blood there that you might be saved in the Bible. It says here, and let not your heart be troubled. Uh, and, uh, as I went through this past week and uh, I went from place to place and uh, seen things of uh, the way that was and how that God is blessing the, uh, some people and I realized that they don't really and uh, know where the blessings are coming from, uh, but they're uh, looking into the uh, natural ways of this life, and that uh, when it comes to a place of, uh, of, of problems and the, uh, uh, where they get to where uh, they can't handle the things that's uh, uh, going on, then they know to call on God uh, because they know that He is the answer, but. Uh, in the meantime, uh, people has got the idea that it's me. I do these things. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the I that lives in each and every man and woman. And if we don't watch out and uh, we get into the spirit that we think uh, of what I am going to do, the Bible says not to even say that uh, uh, you're going to this place tomorrow unless you say, unless it's God's will uh, that I'm going to do this uh, tomorrow. Uh, oh, how I would like to be able to get through to the church this morning uh, to show you that there is a release in God that you can be released from the uh, problems of this world and, and that God uh, can work uh, miracles in you. Uh, Brother Clifford, like uh, uh, us uh, having to face going to the doctor and uh, things like that, I do that. I have to go to the doctor in order to get medicine. Oh, but let me tell you something. There is a God that is so much bigger than that medicine. Amen. I, I was watching the program on TV a couple of nights ago about neuropathy, and I've got in my feet and legs bad, and they said that there wasn't anybody that uh, in a span of time don't have to get their uh, uh, foot and leg removed because of that. But let me tell you something. Come I serve a God uh, that is higher than the rock of the yes. in your feet and lives. I serve a God uh, that's bigger than heart problems are. 
in your body. Amen. I serve a God that's higher than the uh, problems that the uh, blood sugar causes. Amen. Brother Don, I serve a God that is, is a God that is able to make you a completely and a totally whole this morning Amen. without anything lacking. Praise God, yes. <laughs> he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. Paul, oh, let me tell you something. Uh, there's none of us that are putting our faith into God the way that the, the Bible intends for us to believe in Him. I believe that what started in the book of Acts, I believe it's still going and it will go through and through as long as the church is here until uh, Jesus comes uh, and the church is uh, took up to be with him in the glory. I believe that this the church age is still born. Amen. <clears throat> and that the power of God works in the ones that believe <laughs> that God is still the same God, the God that moved the cross across the face of the deep. Amen. Oh, there's, I mean, there's power in that phrase there. Amen. God, Spirit, moved yes. across the face of the deep. God's Spirit is still moving across the face of the deep. Yes. God's Spirit is working across the face of the deep. Yeah. down in here right now Amen. God's spirit is moving Amen. across where he can speak to me and to you Amen. and to open up mysteries and reveal the mysteries of God's Amen. word yeah. and he don't want Amen. these to be a dark hidden secret but he wants us to understand him and understand his word and let us know that he is a God of all power Amen. and that can and will and because he's promised that he'll do this and, and, and the Bible says God cannot lie. Amen. I mean if the word of God says it, it's exactly that way this morning and that's the reason that yeah. he said Brother Don he said let not your heart be troubled. And why, and why, let, why should any of us in this day that we're living, and I, I'm telling you what, God has took care of me better through this coronavirus than when I was making it before. And it was ever let out of the secret that it was. And God has took care of me I, I've not been sick. I, I, I mean, I've had some uh, sick spell, uh, but the coronavirus uh, is some words out yeah, there, uh, but it's yeah. not around me. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says uh, that uh, oh, it, it just uh, tells us so many things that if we put our trust in Him, that He said, I'll never leave you, not never forsake you. Come on, yeah. Let not your heart be troubled. When you believe in God, believe also in me. Oh, in my Father's house. Oh, that's where I'm going to be at. Amen. In my Father's house. Amen. Brother Danny was talking about that. We all had an earthly father. And now we've all got a heavenly father. Yes. In my Father's house. Amen. I, I, I want to say it again. In my Father's house Amen. are many mansions. Amen. He said, if it wasn't true, I would have told you. All these things are for you this morning. And he wants you to understand that you can not be troubled, but you can be made whole yes. this morning. Praise God.
Praise God. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, let every man be a liar, but let God's word be true. Yeah. And that's exactly the way it is. And then he said, and I go to prepare a place for you. You know up there, Dale, Brother Dale, there's a place with your name wrote Amen. above it. Amen. This is Brother Dale's mansion. Each one of us, Brother Don, yeah. there's a place up there that's got your name, Brother yeah. Amen. My Amen. nephew, Mike, he's, I guess, just at death's door, the way they talk. I've seen pictures of him, the video pictures. Oh, he looks bad. But the God that I serve can still raise him. Yes, he can. But if he's turned and put his trust in the Lord, like what he's getting ready yes. to enter into, yeah. what we're all working for. And uh, you know, I, I look forward to that time. I want to see my relation, all of them. And at that time, I want to be there and be in the biggest family reunion that I've ever been in. Yes. I've seen some pictures of the last family reunion we had at the park and all how things have changed since then. But I, I look like I've aged 10 years, but it was four years ago. But that does not count. Man. That I'm living with what is in here. Amen. Come on, man. And that does not get any older. Yes. My heart may quit beating someday, but my spirit is going to live all through glory. Yes. You know Amen. how I know that? Amen. Oh, I, I get excited about Amen. it, Brother Don. I get excited Come on. because my spirit is going to live on. Yeah. And one day, Jesus is going to come back to this earth and he's going to bring the spirits of the Christian people and the graves are going to burst open and the dead in Christ well, are going God. to rise. Yes, and the spirit is going to be Amen. reunited with a glorified yes. body. Amen. Praise God, yes. Amen. And things are going to be all oh, that's going to be what we have looked forward to all through our life. There will be no more pain. Come on. There will be no more death. Amen. There will be no more sorrow of Amen. any kind. Well, praise God. Who yes. in the world wouldn't have a desire for what I'm preaching yes. about Amen. this morning? Amen. Who would want to say, I don't even believe that there is a God. You know, in Psalms it said, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Oh, how big a mistake Amen. human beings make yes. because they get to a place that they want to boast their self up and resist God. That's what happened to Judas here. He looked at what it would be like but he didn't know the circumstances. He thought that if he could get rid of Christ, that he'd be the one that would be glorified. That, that's exactly what the devil wants us to put in our mind. That to get rid of, get Christ out of the way and we're going to be a glorified person. Yes. The fool is said in his heart, there is no God. Amen. And the imaginations Amen. that we have is so foolish. Yes. That makes us fools when we think that way. <clears throat> My God is bigger than that. Yes. Amen. He's bigger than that Amen. problem that tries to overcome my voice on a Sunday morning. That my God 
is bigger than that. And he always shows us that he is. And I, I praise him for that. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. This morning I felt like telling everybody just to stand on your feet when I got up here. And I start out by praising and glorifying God. And I, God wants that kind of a service to take place. Amen. He wants us to Amen. set ourselves free yeah. in Him. Yeah. Set ourselves free and be free. He who Christ sets free is free indeed. Amen. That may not be just the way the Scripture says it, and that that's the way it is. If you put your trust in Christ and let Him set you free, as so many people want to go back under the law and live according to the law. And my Bible tells me that Jesus uh, uh, came to set us free uh, from the curse of the law Amen. and sin and death. Uh, uh, and we're set free from that. Amen. He who Christ has Amen. set free is free Amen. indeed. Amen. And this morning I'm preaching to you reason. A reason that you don't have to have a, a troubled heart. Not if you know uh, that Jesus Christ uh, is your Lord and Savior. Uh, you don't have to have a troubled heart. And you don't have to be under bondage. Uh, uh, but you can be set free. And you can have life and have it more abundantly as you live now. Uh, you can have the life that uh, Christ uh, has said I came that you might have and you can uh, uh, put the devil behind you yeah. uh, you can put him under your feet uh, uh, because uh, he right. does not have any power Amen. over you uh, right. the Bible says uh, uh, submit yourself to God Amen. and resist the devil Amen. and he, it don't say he'll turn around and uh, walk away from you, it says he'll flee from you. We Amen. need to let the devil know Amen. who we are Amen. and that we're not afraid of him, uh, but that uh, he needs to be afraid of Amen. who we are uh, because if we are a child of God. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm an heir of God this morning. Amen. I'm joint heirs with Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. He is my elder Amen. brother. I Amen. mean, he's not just someone uh, that I'm talking about, but he is uh, my kinship. He is my close relation. Yeah. And he watches over me yeah. and he cares for me. Amen. I got one more testimony. Amen. And I'll get on with my preaching. I was I, I was given a gift this week, a car. Oh twelve it was given to me. And the, my son, Gerald, and Janet, they had this car and I asked them about how much they won for it. Gerald turned around and he said, Dad, let me take care of this. I said, no, Gerald. I said, I, I will, I'll buy it if, if I can. He said, no. He said, they were going to bring it life Sunday and give it to me, but things didn't work out for the good for Father's Day. They were going to give it to me. It's an old 12 Chevy Cruze. Oh. Really runs good. And, but it needs an air conditioner hose, and I will get it ordered tomorrow. Because Gerald hit a deer with it, and the fan kept the air conditioner hose. <laughs> it's got a little rifle and fender, but if I can get in there too, I used to do bottom work, I can fix it. And, and, uh, but I just thank God this is what I'm talking about. My old Mercury is 97, still runs good, but everything's shutting down on it. You know how that goes with an old body. Things start shutting down. It does with an old car, too. The wind is quit working. 
windshield wiper don't work at, on the high speed. Horn don't work anymore, and just different things like that. And I kept thinking, I'm going to have to get me a car. So, Gerald and Janet took care of that problem. Amen. Through the Spirit of God speaking to them. Yeah. They said, well, they, they come into quite a bit of money. And uh, they said, we've not paid any tithe on that. They said, we're going to give you this car to pay a little <laughs> bit of tithe on <laughs> That's the kind of God that I'm preaching about Amen. this morning. Amen. They, they wouldn't have done that. They could have sold that car and put that money in their pocket if they wanted to. So they said, and if I go to prepare a place for you, you know, how, how much does God prepare for us in this day and time that we don't even realize what he did? He said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also. And whether I go ye know not, and the way ye know not. And Peter had problems with this. He said, Lord, I'll go with you all the way, even to death. And God, Jesus told him, he said, Peter, before the night is over, You'll deny me three times. Yeah. And, uh, but yet, when on the day when Jesus Christ was resurrected, and he met some of the disciples, he told them where to meet him. And he said, Tell them Peter to come also. I mean, just because Peter denied him, Jesus didn't turn his back on him. Come on. And he said, Tell them Peter to come also. Yeah. Oh, what a wonderful gospel that we have got. I mean, it's so wonderful. Well, I'm going to quit for today. This word of God is just hard for me to turn loose of and quit preaching. With 10 after 12, and I know old Brother Dale will get in trouble. <laughs> So I'm going to quit today and then come back tonight and Amen. see what God has got for us tonight. Amen. And I, I stay excited about it. And I, I just know that God has got some wonderful things. You know why? Because He's a wonderful God. Yeah. And He promised us Amen. wonderful things that yeah. if we'll only believe in him. No use to go through this world with a troubled heart. That's right. They're down, downcast with thinking things are so bad. They're not. Come on. Things are good. Yeah. That if Amen. you're alive and if you feel the Spirit of God in you, things are good. Yeah. He'll take us across yeah. some mighty rough places. Yeah. But when we get across, we'll look back and say, I couldn't have made it if it hadn't been for God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, I'm going to pause there. I'm so thankful for everyone that is here this yes. morning. Amen. It's such a blessing to look out there and see all of you that I can see, but I'm sure there's some here that I can't see. Angels, I, I believe that there's angels all over this church now. Not only that, how many times do you think Jesus walked up and down the yes. aisle here? I, I believe he has. Praise the Lord. One more thing before I quit. i got to tell this. This last week, there was like a smear on my storm door window, and the face of Christ was in that. 
Come on. I mean, it was in just as clear. You could see his forehead, his hair, his hair. You could see his eyes, his nose. Looked like he might have a mustache, so his mouth and his chin. And there was two things that come down, like might have been his hair with something around it that went down probably to his knees. But you could see him as clear as you could in any picture. Wow. I had uh, Trish and Denny come out, they tried to take a picture of it, and, and they, I don't think it ever would show up. Gerald come out there and he said, Dad, I want to see that. And the, he went in the house and he looked at it. I showed it in front of Bob. He come up there. He'd tell you about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he come up there and I showed it to him. And the, the, he said, why, well, yeah. He said, I see that just clear. And I mean, you could see his eyes round, but you could see his eyes to start with. Now it's starting to fade off there. It appeared on there Tuesday while I was gone. When I come back Tuesday, I opened up that door. I was sitting there, and I, I look outside a lot because I like to see the squirrels and birds and stuff that's out there in the yard. And I seen that, and it looked just like Christ just bent over, looking at the earth like that. I mean, he was bent over looking down. It had to be. He had caused that fear of them. They couldn't have yes. anybody made that face on there like it was. Come on. There been no kid there, nobody to see. And my God is still alive. Oh, yeah. Amen. And the, there's amen. we're living in the days of signs and wonders. Yes. Everybody amen. wonders about the UFOs and all that stuff. Amen. I contribute that to signs and wonders. Someone up there in the government might know what they are. But the Bible says in the last day there will be signs and wonders. And I just think anything that I don't understand might be a sign. And I do wonder about it. <laughs> <laughs> I followed one all the way to the Williamsville one day saying, what in the world is that? I mean, it looked like a smokestack in the air with smoke coming out of the bottom. It flowed along in front of me all the way to I got to the bridges down there this side of Williamsville, and it disappeared on the other side of them. You can't tell me that there ain't <laughs> not mysterious things out there in this world. I kept thinking, I'm going to pull over and get out and see if I can tell what that is. But I, I was so amazed at it, I, I couldn't even stop. <laughs> I, I just kept my eyes on it. I, yeah. I mean, it, it's a mystery. It looked just like the tall smoke bag. I don't know what it was, <laughs> but I know it was there. I seen it. My eyes wasn't playing tricks on me. I seen it. My God is real. Yes. He got my attention with yes. whatever that was. He got my attention. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone got anything on your heart? Brother Danny, you got anything you're supposed to say? Now, let it be kind.